Okay. As soon as I get her in the stall, then you can come over. She she's a little edgy where there's you know five or six people around. She kind of gives me a hard time getting in the stall. I'll holler at you as soon as I get her. Okay. Can you shut this door. Okay. those chambers up in there and makes her release more milk. You know that little roll up your sleeves line when they say roll up your sleeves? This is where it comes from. Whenever you're milking cows or working like that, you gotta roll up your sleeves you don't get, because this, it, it's a pretty intimate experience here. <laughs> yeah. I've had, I've had them pee and crap and do all kind of things on me. But for the most part, they really set pretty still. It's a Okay. Pretty calming experience for them, but it's a rhythm too. I've noticed if I get out of character, if I get out of rhythm with them, it, it messes with them. They get antsy, so it's about keeping a, a fairly steady rhythm with them. And the reason I squirt the first one on the ground is to look at the milk. If it's brown, then you got major problems. So. That's kind of how you inspect them. Plus, they found that the people who hand milk have less uh, bacteria in their milk than people who machine milk. And the reason why is because when you hand milk and you squirt it out like that, most of the bacteria is in the teat. Most of the bacteria is in the first two or three inches of this teat. So when you squirt it out, it squirts the bulk of the bacteria out. From here on out, it's fairly clean. See so your milk right now, She's got, she's full, but she hasn't let it down. As soon as she lets it down, you'll see a difference in the stream. It'll really be a lot coming out of the time. It comes out already. <laughs> see, all you can use is your thumb and your forefinger, and that's it. All these. But up here, it's the traditional, you know, full finger. Head against her sometimes. Right back here, just so I can see if she's going to move. I can feel it. There she goes. Then I can get the bucket out of the way. She hardly ever steps in the bucket, but there are times that she gets a little fancy. You see, the bulk of her milk are in these back two quarters, and about 65 to 70% of her milk. I know, baby, that's a good He's back to, this is about it on the front, but the back is just start brushing. Stop short of milking all of it, in other words, they'll just once she gets to a point where she's getting loose, they stop. Dude. And I, I'm, I strip her totally out because it's better for it. It's healthier. Yeah. I'm going to pour that in that bucket here and just move it. like that better than any of those homes. For some reason the temperature, I mean you can put it in the refrigerator and warm it back up to body temperature and they won't drink it as readily as they do fresh out of the cow. You have a seat there, a little low on your fingers, both fingers, both sides. And then what you'll do, sit down in there and you put one foot there and one through that hole. And that'll get you close enough. There you go. You come back through here and lay you right over away. Huh? Now, Reach underneath there, grab those teats like that. Now, milk that one right there and see if you can do it. See that? 
Okay, yeah, and she's got a little bit of a, she's still healing there. She might, that's good. It's great, sounds perfect. Now grab this one, and you just, now you don't pull that one, what you do here, watch my fingers. See that? There you go. Just like you're wringing something out. That's it. Perfect. Gone. Yeah, no, no, here. See, you reach up in there. You see that? You can reach it way up in there and kind of like a funnel. So you open your hand up and you push that up. And you, that. Yeah, good. Then you go way up in there. Nobody wants to bad. Hey, Dennis. Hey, Julie. No, that's okay. That's okay. What you're doing again is that here and then here. See, I just, I take it and I mean, there's different ways you can do it. See? Try that. Turn on that back. There you go. See how you can kind of just run your finger. And see what you're doing, you're feeling that milk in there and you're just pulling it down. All right, let's let your brother in here. <laughs> All right. It's prime and ready for you. Okay. Then put that. There you go, just like that. See, and you can reach up in there with a wide open hand and then and pinch it off and then, and then just take that milk. You can feel it in there. There you go with that one. It's good. Hmm. Yeah, and just way up in there. Let it go and kind of go up in there and, and then grab it. There you go. Try to get that perfect. Good. I don't know how you go so fast. <laughs> well, I've been doing it for about 20 years, I guess. <laughs> so I have a little little advantage on you guys. You do it for 20 years, I guarantee you, son, you'll be doing it that fast. <laughs> Any other way, you starve to death, you know? Yeah. You learn to do it pretty quick. Hey, Ben, there's a bag in here. Yeah, these are about stripped here. See how loose, how much more loose she is now? When she came in here, she was packed. So, it, and it's amazing with these things, after 20 years of milking them and having relationships with them, and you know, it's just a, an amazing relationship with them because you have, they can't tell you what's going on with them, you have to guess. And that's why a lot of the times the veterinarians are better doctors than doctors are because they, they, the patient can't talk. <laughs> they have to diagnose based on basic symptoms, basically, you know. And jerseys, most, most of those dairies will do Holsteins, which is the black and white ones. And these guys are, and these guys give better butter fat. See, the butter fat is like 6% on these things. And I can get it up to seven and eight, uh, feeding them Bermuda hay. And uh, it's, it's amazing what happens, because there's literally, I've had gallons of milk before. In fact, if you were to take this milk right here, and compare it to the milk we had earlier, it's gonna have twice the butter fat in it. Most of the fat, there was an old man here told me, he said, oh, that last bit of milk, that's where all your fat is, and I doubted it. And one time I had a cow that was giving me like five or six gallons, which this is about maybe two and a half to three. And when I got finished milking, I had to put it in two separate containers. So we literally put it in two different containers and the second half of the milk every time was much more fat on it. And so I called him and I said, you're right, brother, I just did a test. And it's tested out every time. I think she's there. 